Welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Crazy. That's insane. Anyways, um, I have a day off today, so I have lots of things I need to do this morning. Um, I need to finish the crochet snail for tonight's gift exchange at Youth. And... I'm forgetting all the other things I need to do. <laughs> well, that's the most urgent thing. And uh, I'm meeting up with a friend later. We're probably going to go for lunch or something. So it is currently 9.30. I need to wash this, dry this mane of hair. And then I can sit down and watch some Vlogmases, make a coffee, and go from there. I remembered the other thing I was supposed to do today and that is start um, a, my next handmade jewels order. And you're probably thinking it's December 20th. You should be done your orders. Yes, yes I should. But this, um, the last one that I'm making here was kind of an exception. I had already closed my custom orders thingy and um this lady has ordered from me countless times before and she was like I know you're probably so super busy no problem if you can't get it done before Christmas um but I have this request blah 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 blah, blah. so and I had told her I said I think I can get it done in time so she knows that it's gonna be like last minute down to the wire like and it's no big deal if she doesn't get it but I really want to get it done for her. So that's on my list next. I am making a jellyfish. So um, this is the going to be the base color. This is just a plain cream color. This is the Knit Picks Cotlin. Um, it's a cotton linen blend. This is what I use for all of my little handmade jewels animals. So it's going to be a white base and then the tentacles that come down are going to be like multicolored rainbow-ish colored. I can show you them all together like that very cute so um and there's the pink oh there's another pink I didn't I need to decide which pink to use the lighter one or this like actual darker ish pink we'll see but yes so um she sent me like an inspo well actually maybe I sent it to her I don't remember but she wanted so this baby it's for a baby and they don't know the gender yet, but I guess there's like a running joke that they call it little crap. Now I forget. Little squish or little jelly or little jellyfish. I don't know. Something like that. Um, that's what they call the baby that they don't know the gender of. So they kind of wanted this jellyfish just to be like representation of that time before the baby was born. They didn't know the gender and it will be good for the baby either way because it's like very, I don't know, gender neutral and fun. But she had, I had asked her if she wanted like soft pastel -y colors or like more vibrant rainbow colors. And she said it didn't matter. So I'll send you the picture. I'll not send you, I'll post the picture. There was like one that was brighter and one that was like pastel -y. And I think I like the pastel one a little more. I do have like every color of the rainbow, so I could do either either way. But in my personal opinion, I like the pastels. So I think I will go with that. Um, but comment below if you like the vibrant one or if you like the pastel one. Let me know which one you like better. So that's next on my list. And it won't take me too long because the jellyfish is just like a head with little tentacles so it won't be too crazy um yeah so that's that and you can probably see the snail <laughs> so i got him all sewed together he's so cute and look at the little drips i sewed them all down they look way better so the hole is like kind of frustrating me because it's not perfectly round and it gets these little kinkies. And I think it's just because of the gauge that she uses for the um, 
like the hook that she uses for this yarn like she uses a four millimeter which is like way smaller than you're supposed to use so whatever it's okay i just wish it was like more round that's all but i did fix his face you probably noticed and i did um eyeshadow on his cheeks which i like a lot better i think it matches his like red here as well i don't know why i'm saying he just go on with it but it's sprinkle time so he needs sprinkles on his house um so i will be adding those on today they will not be um the same yarn as the burnett it'll be just a worsted the same stuff i used for the embroidery i think i'm gonna do like burgundy green white for the sprinkles but yeah he's super cute and cuddly and nice he's not as squishy as i'd hope because of how tight the gauge was and let me tell you my hands hurt after doing this so if you notice that your hands hurt just take a break that's all don't keep going don't try and push through it it's not good for you so that's my little chocolate donut snail he's super cute so i'll let him chill right there for now um and i'll just show you quick again i showed it last night just on a quick little video at the end i worked on this hat so this is the hat um that i'm making for a christmas present i can't really tell you who but um it's going to be a nfl team hat so right now i'm just working on the ribbing but i started here did about two inches maybe of ribbing so i have a little bit more to go and then i'm going to start into the stockinette and then the color work so i'm excited to get into the color work i feel like it'll go a lot faster when i'm in an excited spot in this hat right now it's just like black ribbing and i hate ribbing so um, i'm glad i forced myself to work on this last night at sip and stitch um this stitch marker is from fangirl fibers from sock week 2022 i want to say it's a little shark and then my stitch stoppers are little snowflakes and they are from oh no i don't know I really don't. It's trying to come to me and it's not. If I remember, I will put it in the in the description below. But yeah, they're cute. Anyways, that's that. Uh, I might work on that a little bit later today, but I have other things um, as a priority right now. So I have one more thing before I let you guys go. I don't have um, an advent to open today, but I did get some mail. Um, from Polka Dot Creek. <gasps> Guys, and look at this. Look at this packaging. The cutest. Sorry, my washing machine is going. So that is what you're hearing in the background. But I love this so much. And I bought yarn and you wouldn't know it because look how thin this. Look how thin this is. <laughs> ah, it's funny. Um, Polka Dot Creek had a free shipping sale and I'm all about free shipping because from them, they're from Alberta, I live in Ontario and it's like 10 bucks for shipping. So I saved myself $10 and they always ship it in like the most, the cheapest way. So they vacuum seal their yarn and that is why. This is so skinny because it looks really, really weird. So, oh, I can see, I can see through and it broke. Oh no, I can see it. That's okay. I didn't know when I was gonna open it anyways. Um, I ordered, here's my summer anyways. The cheers to New Year's. I'm sorry, can you hear me? I hope so. The Cheers to New Year's Self-Striping Sock Set 2024. So it's basically 
a sock set that they make for New Year's. It's on, I think it's on Stellina. I'm pretty sure it's on Stellina. Um, anyway, so it's like, yeah, basically you order it. You don't know what the color is going to be. It's a five or six stripe. I have no idea. It's a self-striping yarn and it comes with two mini skeins with it. Um, so I bought that kind of on a whim because I, everybody was saying how this color is like their favorite ever and it's so beautiful. And whenever they say it's not coming back, it makes me want to buy it. So I bought it. And I also bought three little mini skeins. Um, these are for my blanket, my advent blanket with the granny squares. So these are gonna be like accent colors for the, the triangles, the half square triangles and the neutral color to go with the, the special speckled skeins in the middle spot, if you know what I mean. Should have brought, anyways, yeah. So the one, anyways, I'm gonna, I'll talk about that later. I'm gonna open this and it's magical how it's so, sorry, I didn't show you it completely. You can kind of see the color way through it because they had to vacuum seal it, but it's so skinny. It's insane. And once you cut them out, they bounce back into like place pretty well. So I'm gonna cut it open here. I already hear it coming off. So, I'm trying to rip this sticker off so I don't butcher it. And they did like unravel. So, they unraveled the big skeins um, so that so that you can pinch it. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at it. So that you can pinch it together like tighter the big skeins are harder to compress but I'll talk about these first so I actually don't know I don't have a specific color to match these two yet but I just thought they were all kind of sort of generic and I'd be able to use them somehow so first one is cherry it's like a pretty reddish pink I would say I would say it's like red um, and this is charcoal. So these are all just fingering weight, 20 gram mini skeins. Charcoal. And this is chocolate. Dark, dark brown. Super nice. So these, I will have to look at the skeins that I've been opening and see if they match with any of those. Um, but yeah, for now, I'll just let them rest and kind of bounce back into place because they're a little bit squished. All right, so that's that for those. And I feel like I should just open this because I can half see it and I don't know what, what else I'm gonna do. So it's happening right now. If you bought this mini, this mystery Cheers to New Year's 2024, please look away right now. This is your warning. Oh my goodness, <laughs> it's so pretty, you guys, okay, um, okay, it's not, oh, it's Delina, you guys, you're not going to be able to see this very well, oh, look at the sparkle, I'm dead, I'm absolutely dead, so I'm going to wind this up myself, so you basically just, Twist and twist, keep your finger on this side. Twist like till it's good and tight. And then it should <laughs> keep twisting. I think I twisted too much. Now I'm struggling. I mean, that's not terrible. I just gotta get this end in. And it's basically like you tuck the two ends into each other. 
but I did a terrible job because I'm not a yarn dyer, but you get the gist-ish. <laughs> it's terrible. Ah, that's really not good. Um, whatever. I don't know what happened at the end here. I just got a really long tail, that's all. It's not terrible. But it could be better. Anyways, let's look at this color. <gasps> so, I couldn't tell you how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think it's a six straight. Pinks. Oh, I'm obsessed with this. I love it. And it comes with three mini skeins. I thought it was only two, but it's three. And they're also Stellina. So we've got these three cuties as well. And they all look so cute. Oh, together. Look at that. That's amazing. So, I'm happy they come with mini skeins because I have had troubles with self striping yarn and heels and toes and all the things. So, this will help me avoid that. And I'm very excited. So, I think these are 10 gram. They feel small. Definitely. So, what does it say on here? Three 10 gram mini skeins. Yes. Um, they're all on Stellina. This is a 50 gram, and these are 10 grams. So, I'm super excited about that. I'm going to try and rewind this ball, and maybe I will cast this on this year for New Year's. We'll see. But that is all the fun yarn mail I've got, and... I've got more yarn coming, but I don't know when it will come. So, anyways, I have things to do. I need to go. I will talk to you guys later and bring you along into my day. Bye.